Ellie, you, you are also a renowned teacher. You have coached a lot of um, singers. I don't know them all, but I'm sure that you can tell me some names of, I don't know if you should say your most successful pupils, but mm -hmm. maybe the ones that you liked best or you had a special, mm -hmm. special affinity with. Sometimes you can, it, fame is not the point. The point is... Fame is not the point, you learn something. Eh? <laughs> well, uh, great uh, pleasure I had with uh, Susanna Phillips. I don't know if she's all that well known in the Netherlands, but she sang in Bordeaux, the festival, and in the Placido Domingo thing in Barcelona, and is slowly building up a European career after her American career, as they mostly do. Seldom do they the other way around. But she um, sings at the Met now in roles like Musetta, but also Pamina. And Susanna had that wonderful European quality around her. One, in her sound, and two, in her, in her expression of the songs. If they were French or German, she did Schubert just as beautiful as Debussy. And I had to teach her a few things, a few fine details, but she brought 99% of what she had to learn. And that is rare, Susanna. For the rubato, you could say, what you take over these four, five, six bars, yeah? So here it's written, nach und nach belegter. <laughs> so in the second bar, it should happen. Das war es. So mich drück. 
Ticket, sehr gesungen, durch, und das Wort durch, he? of course, uh, to say durch, on such a glorious note, forget there, only there, a little bit about the durch, and make a longer U. Durch die Schwere. Mm -hmm. Durch is a top note, but not an important word. So mm -hmm. don't ponder too much on rsch, but make a nice U, because okay. we need a lot of uh, Puccini line there. Huh? Olga Pasichnik. A winner of the IVC vocal competition. A second prize. Second yeah, prize. Yeah, I know. I, that I remember. Olga had this very nice sense of style. She's incredible. And sang here several times in the Netherlands Opera. <laughs> Like Les Fleurs de Fontaine la Tour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have conversations. The Fleurs de Fontaine la Tour, you know that. Uh, could be very good. Uh, well, it's a little earlier and Fontaine is a little later. But that kind of rose is intimacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. As different as you can. Kichern und Kosen. Kichern ist das kleinste Lächeln. Aber sie schauen auch nach den Sternen empor. Das ist dann wieder eine lange Frage. So macht man etwas klar zum Publikum. This will be uh, clear to the audience. Yeah? Then we come to Lenneke Ruiten, of course, yeah. She started when she was very young, her first teacher, and the first the teachers do the good or the wrong thing to a voice. And Maria Rondel, her first teacher, did the good thing to her voice. So there was Lenneke, who had by then, 19 years old, finished her flute, flute um, diploma. At that. But then she thought, do I have a voice or not? And Maria Rondel said, you have a voice, let's go to Ellie Amling and you sing for her. She was very young, 19 years old. When I was 19 years old, I didn't even have my natural vibrato. Four years. Anyway, Lenneke came here and I said, it's lovely. And she sings everything in pitch and her rhythm is fine. All these interpretative qualities I could judge. But 
what will become of her voice. It has to grow. When you're 19 years old, you don't know much about her voice. Oh, and it grew under the guidance of next teacher, Maynard Kraken. And now you listen how Lenneke sings the drama in Donna Anna with the coloratura and how she does her Constanze aria with the dark colors that are required and the coloratura. It's fine, it's beautiful and it is pure singing. And really, Maria Rondel started it, Maynard Kraak finished it, and, you know, we all did our little job. <laughs> But it sounds, especially when you start on the dominant with that piece, uh, it sounds as if this person is still sleeping. Can it have something like... And then you start singing or saying, coming to this world, only after that phrase. Legatissimo, and as if you're still dreaming. And then you make your dream come true in the following phrases, yeah? still dreaming, yeah. He dreams very beautifully before you, very nice, very good. start building phrase for okay. phrase building again and bring it to life so well you don't have to have your eyes closed but you are in a mood mm -hmm. as if your eyes are still closed and then they open in the second phrase you don't have to do that but it's the mood okay. One gegen die Schönheit, die so viel voller ist. Mhm. Und ich hörte einen schönen Ton, aber es war kein I. Frieden. 
Ja, ik dacht, we zien ze voorden. Ja, no, it wasn't in E. Oh, oh. And you have that feeling for end. Make it a point. Wartet. Das wir kommen. This is full of promise. The whole song. One big promise. Yes. Ah, yeah. <coughs> Over das wir kommen. Uh, how do you say it in American or in English? Pitch off, I think you say the Frieden against the Schönheit. Mm -hmm. uh, tegenover elkaar zetten. Nog één keer. Misschien mm -hmm. een beetje eerder of zo. Deze zwijzen houses. Eigenlijk ook deze zwijzen houses. Frieden, Schönheit. It is rond en vol en soft. And rond en, but much difference mm -hmm. within the song. Yeah. One thing against I've another. How do, that you say How do you say that? How do you say that? Put one thing against the other. To, um, juxtapose. Juxtapose. <laughs> oh, très bien. Uh, juxtapose is very good. She helps us a lot, Susanna. The very soft thing and the warmth. Yeah, in almost every phrase. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 